What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Joe coming back at you with another video. Alright, so earlier today I did a uh, Cowboys video. Um, so I decided to do a martial arts video too. Um, and this is one that I feel like a lot of you guys are going to benefit from. Um, I know that I uh, definitely would have when I was younger. Um, but it's basically what to expect for your very first fight. Now... Unless you're like me, you've never been in a fight before. I've been in a, I've been in quite a, quite a few. Um, so let me just go over two things with you, or a few things with you, not maybe more than two. We'll see. Um, number one is never start the fight. Okay, don't ever start the fight. We, as a martial arts instructor, I always tell my students, you know, talk your way out of the fight if you can. If you can't, then don't. And that leads me to the next one: do not run away. Okay, don't run away. All right, because what will happen is, is you'll once you start running, once you run the first time, you're going to run the second time, you're going to run the third time, you're going to run the fourth time, you're eventually you're just going to run from a fight every time. Don't run away. Because that just shows that you're a coward. And when you're and when you run away like that, they're going to get in your head. Okay, so don't let them get in your head, which is number three, don't let them get in your head. Okay. So, what to expect for your first fight? All right, let's just, the basic scenario is that you're at school um, and you're walking through the halls and there's a bully and he gets in your face and starts talking crap, okay? At that point, don't hit him. Do not hit him, okay? Or her, if you're a girl and or you're a guy and there's a girl, bully, a girl bullying you, okay? Um, there are scenarios in which you have to swing first, um, but I'll make a video for that later. Um, you're going to be nervous, okay? You're probably going to be scared. And unless there's like 10 of them and you can tell you're going to have to fight all 10 of them, don't run away, all right? Do not let them get in your head. Keep a clear mind and know your surroundings. All right, know who's around you, know what's around you, okay? Now, let's just say, like, like I said, you're walking through the halls and you get confronted by a bully or some dude that you've never seen before and you can tell that you're gonna have to fight this guy, okay? Now, no, there's, no, there's no one way to tell if you're gonna have to fight the guy. Uh, chances are that he's gonna probably punch you or kick you or something, okay? Chances are. Um, you're going to be nervous. Like I said, you're going to be scared. Your hands are going to be shaking. You're going to, your heart's going to be racing. One thing that you have to remember is that in a fight, your opponent is just as scared as you are. Okay. They may not show it because they may be talking a big game, you know, getting riled up, getting amped up. They're scared too. Okay. They're, they're going to be terrified. I've been in, like I said, I've been in several fights and I'm still scared whenever I get in a fight. All right, I'm still shaking. I'm still nervous. Um, there are ways that you can tone that down, but you're still always going to be, even UFC fighters, okay? Uh, an interview was done through, uh, through BuzzFeed, and I don't like BuzzFeed, but when it comes to their fighting stuff, when they interview fighters, it's pretty cool. Um, they interviewed, who was it? I think it was, uh, I think they actually interviewed uh, Demetrius. Uh, or Mighty Mouse, whatever you say. And they asked him, they said, are you ever scared for your life or anything? He says, I'm not scared for my life. I'm scared. He said, no matter what, you're always going to be scared because you're going up against another human being. Okay, you're going, you're going to have to punch this guy and you're going to get hit back. Okay? So you're going to be scared. Just know that, all right? Uh, the next thing that you'll, that you, you should be prepared for in your first fight is that you're gonna, it's gonna feel like you're not hitting this guy hard. And it's, it's gonna feel like he's hitting you super hard. Okay? Or elbows or knees or kicks, whatever you use. Okay? You're gonna feel like you're not hitting this guy hard. Trust me, you are. Okay? Especially if you heave back and give, give it everything you've got. You're gonna hit the, you're gonna hit this guy hard. And it may hurt your hand, especially if you do punches. It may hurt your palms if you do palm heels. It may hurt your top of your foot or your shin if you use kicks. It may hurt your elbow even a little if you use elbows. It's going to hurt a little bit, but 
pain only lasts a certain amount of time, but it's going to feel like you're not hitting this guy hard. And trust me, you are. All right. That's just your, um, that's just your body. Like kind of like, uh, that's your, that's just your, that's just you not being confident in your, in your strikes. Okay. So you're going to feel like you're not hitting this guy hard. And the next thing that you're going to realize is you're going to get what's called the adrenaline dump. Okay, especially especially since this is your first fight. All right, you're gonna get what's called the adrenaline dump. Um, the adrenaline dump is something that you have to control. Okay, that's just your body with the fight or flight method. Okay, you we've all heard of that. It's where your body just dumps a load of adrenaline because it's trying to get out of the situation. All right, control the control the, control the adrenaline dump. Now there's no referee there telling you guys. You know, all right, break, let's set it up, go and go to your corner and you know talk to your cornerman. No. It's gonna be a fight. Alright, it's gonna be a, a real fight where there's no referee. You may have got you may have you're probably more than likely gonna have people around to stop it if it gets too much, which is good. And you're going to you're gonna be tired. Okay, you're going to be tired. Because once the adrenaline dump and once the adrenaline because because once the adrenaline dump happens, you're gonna get like I mean, we've all felt our adrenaline before, but once the adrenaline leaves, you're going to feel tired. Okay. That's, that's why I say control your adrenaline dump. Now, what does that mean? Don't just go all out in the very beginning. Okay. Let, let your opponent, if you have, if you can let them, you know, do their thing, get it all out and then go on the attack. All right. Now, the last thing that I want to tell you guys is the people around you are either a, going to be on your side or B going to be against you. All right. If you can stay close to the people that are on your side, what does that mean? Stay near them, stay close to them because if your opponent gets on top of you and you get knocked out, if it happens, unless you win, congratulations. Um, but if you get knocked out, you want people near that can get him off of you and protect you. Okay. So stay close to the guys that are on your side. All right. So hope this helps. Good luck in your very first fight. And um, yeah, let me know down in the comment section how it went. If you guys, if you guys have been in a fight before, let me know how it went. And uh, yeah, hope you, I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless you all. Peace.